rentre là yeah. What's up fam, it's Andy from Hungry by Nature and today we're going to talk to you about our lockdown routine with kids. So we know it can be quite difficult balancing kids and just getting stuff done. So we're just going to show you some of the things that we do that works for us. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to follow our smart family travel guide. So let's get ready for breakfast. It is now 8.30 a.m. We usually start getting breakfast ready for us and the kids around this time. And today I'm making some scrambled eggs and toast. Um, I usually try and switch it up every day. So um, other times when I'm feeling lazy, uh, we just do cereal. In winter, we do oats. And uh, occasionally I do do pancakes or French toast. But today, it's a nice serving of scrambo eggs. how we eat breakfast and dinner most days on this tiny little kids table with all four of us sitting on it like we're having a tea party but this is legit how we eat um i think we've gotten used to this from like japan in like yeah. tiny little enclosed spaces where we just eat our food so bon appetit it's nine o'clock in the morning and we are observing two young boys starting their playful day with learning. Using modern technology of the tablet, they are having a great time on their fun educational applications. They maintain interest for a period of time, but as time goes on, things start to change. The soccer ball becomes a distraction which is potentially dangerous with their parents not far away. It progresses further as the youngest moves onto the table. Now both young boys are participating in dangerous play as mother is lurking by. Guys, sit down now. Mother's presence has brought much needed order. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning. We're starting our exercise. We do this pretty much every day just to get outside the house. Cross on my crosses and dead on my eyes. Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures. I know it's a lesson that's what now with all the restrictions, it just gets so, what's the word like, it just gets so... Uh, I don't know, just feel confined, so claustrophobic. Con claustrophobic. Claustrophobic as well, claustrophobic. yeah. Like, I actually get quite annoyed just staying at home the whole day. At each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it's a great, great chance to just get out, do a bit of exercise, get some fresh air. Plus guys, um, if you're looking for activities to do with kids while you are walking and not just walking for the sake of walking because let's be real that kind of gets boring um, there is an app you can get I forgot the name but we will put it you know as like a caption um, where you can do various activities with kids like look for um, particular insects or um, look for particular I don't know um, birds and things like that and tick it off kind of thing while you are going on the walk a little bit of jogging to get the blood flowing <laughs> Welcome back to the 11 o'clock free playtime. The young boys are free to play as they wish so their parents can do what they need to do. Hot Wheel cars are their favourite toy at this time. There appears to be a disagreement between the two. This is common and always ends up with one of the young boys in tears. As expected, one of the young boys has entered into a tantrum, laying completely flat on his back as tears come rushing out. Luckily, they have made amends very quickly. Parents have permitted television time now, and all is at peace. Once again, the youngest one, naughtiest of the two, has decided to move on to something else. It appears to be the floor is lava. Lunchtime is coming soon, we will return later. It is now one o'clock and it is lunchtime. So we never really cook anything 
for lunch unless we don't actually have anything and it's instant noodle time but today we have a lot of leftovers from the last few days so we're just gonna clean out the fridge pretty much and this is our lunch we got some yucky we got some I don't know mixed stuff with rice and we're gonna serve it up and back to the TV room to at grand dining table look at this it's huge Around 2 p.m. after lunch, there is more free play where they can play or do whatever they like. Usually, we would like to put little Rafi in bed during this time. Rafi, Rafi, who's better at drawing, mom or dad? It's me. Daddy. Daddy, yeah. Who's better, daddy? I'm so sorry. Sorry, Mom. Who's better, Flo? Who's better, Mom? Uh, both. Oh, yeah, good boy. <laughs> good answer, Flo, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> so usually at four o'clock, we like to do arts and crafts with the kids. So something a bit more creative, creative learning. If you just type um, easy kids drawings or kids learn how to draw on YouTube, it comes up with a whole bunch of easy sort of tutorials running you through step by step how to draw like Marvel, DC characters, just characters cute, from movies. Cute ice creams, cute donuts, yeah. and things like that. So Don't one that we use a lot is a channel called Art for Kids Hub. They have just a ton of different uh, things to draw for kids and adults together. You wanna go show the camera what show you the drew? Camera show what the you camera, did. turn it around and show the camera. Turn it around, just hold it still. Very good. Good boy. I did it all in line. Good fam! Okay, so this is totally 2019, but it's still so much fun with the kids. Before dinner, we usually do some more physical activity, for example, doing dances from YouTube, go out for a scoot, walk, kick the soccer ball around, or play in the backyard. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a real treat. The man of the house is actually attempting to cook dinner for the family. A truly rare sighting. Look at his focus as he prepares everything. He is attempting pizza. It's all ready now and they settle in front of the television as they do for most of their meals. The pizza appears to be a success. Everyone is enjoying them, especially the young boys. He must be feeling very proud at this moment. Around 8.30, we start putting the kids to bed. We usually read them a bedtime story and then tuck them away for the night. A busy and tiring day has come to an end for these adventurous boys. Surely they will be having pleasant dreams. Please make sure to like this video and make sure to click on the red subscription button and the notification bell to follow this very informative and entertaining channel to show your support. A reminder to stay safe and take care. Signing out, cheerio!